This analog photography Kickstarter project was funded in under four hours. And today I wanna to look into this product and talk about what makes it interesting and really exceptional. It's called the Pinsta. It's a pinhole camera, it's a micro darkroom, and it's a negative enlarger all in one unit. It's a self-contained pinhole camera and development box that'll print an image onto four by five photographic paper. And not only that, you can use it to enlarge and print from your existing negatives. As of this video, it's only three days into its 30 day campaign and it's almost doubled its goal. So what makes this project so compelling? Why was it so successful? What makes it so unique that it blew past its funding goal and has almost doubled it just three days into its campaign? Well, first of all, it's unique. I've never really seen anything like it. You could call it an instant camera, but what makes it different from something like a Polaroid or an Instax where you take a photograph and a photo pops out and all the development is kind of self-contained and basically happens automatically and you don't have to do any other work is this project involves some manual work. So you take the photograph and then using the unit and the supplied uh, syringes, you manually develop the photograph yourself. And so why is that appealing? If you've ever developed your own film or printed in the darkroom, there is a real magic to that. Developing my own film, even though I've been doing it for so long and I've done it so many times, whenever I pull negatives out of a tank, there is a magic and a wonder that really captivates me every time. To me, it's hard to believe that these disparate ingredients, developer, fixer, a piece of plastic, all combine to create an image when you process it in a certain way. The best analogy that I can think of is cooking. If you enjoy cooking, then you've got an idea of what I'm talking about. You put these things together, there's a process that you enjoy, that you're engaged with, that you've got your hands on, that your mind is trained on, and at the end of that, the reward is a delicious meal. Developing your own film and printing in the darkroom gives you that same kind of feeling of creation. It's fun, it's educational, it's rewarding, and it's really, really satisfying. Even if you make mistakes, even if you screw up, you still learn something every time. I think this is a great example of where the process is as important as the result. Now digging a little deeper, I wanted to look into the creator of this thing. His name is Oliver New, and his family business actually involves the creation of photographic print processors. So that's pretty interesting that there's kind of a history and a pedigree here. Also, it looks like he's got a lot of experience in plastic fabrication and design, so that's interesting. Again, I don't know him personally. This project has not reached out to me. I just saw it, and I was really captivated by it, as were apparently a lot of other people, because you can see how successful the campaign is. So it's a pretty unique project. It's caught a lot of people's attention. It's already got a lot of supporters. Also, the creators have put a bunch of demos on their YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out. I'll include a link to those. So check out this project. Take a look at the campaign video and tell me what you think. To me, I think it looks really well designed. It looks like the results could be attainable, even though it has that manual, analog, hands-on magic that is different than what we normally consider with instant photography, which is basically no work at all. It's kind of, it's instant photography, but it's kind of on the other end of the spectrum of manual hands-on work. And the fact that it involves you in the development process, not only in the picture taking process, but the development process, I think that's really interesting. And if you've never developed your own film, I really do think you owe it to yourself to try those types of manual processes in creating photographs because it really does create a sense of wonder when you pull a print out of a tray or when you pull negatives out of a tank and you see images, there truly is a sense of wonder. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm in the third week of a four week challenge where I'm uploading three videos a week. I'm trying to do this YouTube thing a little bit more consistently and I'm trying to make good, interesting content that is helpful to you guys. So I really appreciate you watching. If you gave this video a like, um, and if you felt like it, if you wanted more of this kind of stuff, if you were to subscribe, that would really help me out. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.